despite our good intentions to live a holy life we often fall short of the glory of god that is why there is a need to abide in jesus all the time because apart from him we will go astray My dear friend, we have the Gospel of Luke chapter 17 verses 1 to 6 for our reflection today. In today's Gospel, Jesus is reminding us that we live in a society that is full of things that causes us to sin. Despite our good intentions to live a holy life, we often fall short of the glory of God. That is why there is a need to abide in Jesus all the time, because apart from Him, we will go astray. Jesus cautions us to be aware of our words and actions so that we, have, we will have a positive influence on others instead of causing them to sin. His use of the word millstone and being thrown into the sea is a strong warning that we should never be an instrument for others to stumble. As disciples, our task is to bring people to God, not to drive them away. In today's world, we often hear of scandals inside and outside the church involving people who look up to. Let us never allow ourselves to be negatively influenced by them. Instead, let us pray for the forgiveness of their sins and for their conversion as we continually pray for the forgiveness of our sins and our conversion. Indeed, we are tempted in every way but let us not be disheartened. We ask the Lord to increase our faith and to strengthen our resolve to avoid the occasion of sin. Aware of our own shortcomings, let us be forgiving of others who commit sin. They too have their own struggles. When we learn to forgive, we will grow in faith. Reflect today upon our response to Jesus' invitation to abide in Jesus all the time and bring others to Him. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.